three-yard run as he kept it himself. And his guys are able to strike for six. And while that touchdown does not give them an insurmountable lead, it's still a lead, and that always feels good to a team. They'd love to take that into the lockers, but a little time left on that clock, so some work to do. I like that. I like how you're guarding against a letdown there. Are you looking forward? Coaching them up from right up here in the booth. This is taken at the three. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Pretty good running there. Nine yards. Sets up a third and one. Car going to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing on first down is Carr. Throw left side complete. It's Carter. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. From midfield, here's Carr. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. Well, so many times defensive backs get caught playing the man rather than the football, but not in this case. That's an excellent play. Did exactly what you're supposed to do. Attack the football and help break up the pass. And yep, as a result, knocks it down. He's going to wind up and air it out. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They didn't have a ton of yards to pick up on that third down, but there was no way they were playing that one safe. They decided to take that one downtown. They must have felt that they had a big play that was waiting for them. Unfortunately, it was incomplete. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. The final shot here before half for Carr. He's going to air one out. And oh, it'll be intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Byron Maxwell. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken in at the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So here they come, the road team now getting the football first to start this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Trying to improvise. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. A wise move there, looked like nobody open. Now second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it, or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. On second down, Elliott. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He went backwards seven yards, setting up a tough third down. 
The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 17. He'll drop to throw. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Pedaled up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. NFL teams last year, a little under 50% on fourth down conversions. This is a bit tougher. Fourth and four. Time running out here on the play clock. They're going to try and throw. And Ingram holds it in. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll give them a first down. We always hear about guys wanting to make plays that quiet a crowd. Yeah. After that one. Here in the third quarter, they were hoping to get the stop, get the football back. It's not the case. What a completion on a fourth down play. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. some space here a good chunk on the ground and the keeper 17 yards first down looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive because when you see that type of a run I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired and that's the last thing they need especially when they look up at the scoreboard they'll run it now out of the gun and he's going to take this down to about the 17 a good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. Let's go! Oh, well, they go with a tight end carry. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. He may try and run for this. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Give him four yards as he does it himself, and it's a first down. And the seemingly endless drive continues. Let's go! They'll look to throw here. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. there will be a pickup of just two, and that'll make this a second down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of it. And it's caught. Touchdown. Tavon Austin, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. Zerline out now to kick this one away. 
This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Now the defense definitely showing blitz here. Try it again on second down. Eluding the pressure right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, but frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. I don't know, he had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. No, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. The mental focus. Yeah, the that's true. Gotta stay with it. That's true. He finds back and complete. And a big hit at the end of that one. He's knocked down hard. Near the 42. On first and 10, here's Carr. He's going to air one out. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes his quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that one incomplete. Had some position but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Now Carr, got to have this one. And no, it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Now this offense about ready to take over again. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Hoping now to get back in the end zone on this fourth possession. And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. On the counter, Elliott. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Play clock winding down. They go to Elliott again. Elliott a first down and more. 20. Touchdown. Ezekiel.